How's it going, brew tubers? Welcome back to another video. We're here in Ed's uh, brew shed slash boozer. <laughs> Hope you're all well. Uh, today we are brewing a uh, Pilsner Urkel clone, which is very exciting. Um, we're using five uh, dried yeasts and one liquid yeast. That's uh, different yeasts for different needs. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so the experiment is uh, we're trying to brew a decent lager at room temperature. And we're hoping that if we come up with a with a good one, mm. when we taste them, we might be able to create a good kit uh, for uh, the first time home brewer all grain. That's the dream. That is the dream. Um, so that's about enough from the face. Uh, I'm going to hand you over to the hands to explain <laughs> to explain a bit I'm more. I'm going to say the knowledge. Uh, the um, knowledge, the hands, whatever. <laughs> so yeah, so it's a, it's a um, Pilsner Urkel clone that I found online. Never tried it before, so I don't know how great it is, but how good it is. But it's by um, a very reputable home brewer. From America, I won't name him because I can't remember his name. America again. Doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, they love it over there. So the the grain bill, uh, malt wise, we're going to be using 11.37 kilos of Pilsner malt, uh, 1.422 kilos of Vienna, 726 grams of Munich, and 726 grams of Carapils. And this is a 60 liter batch, which is obviously it's, it's a larger grain bill than you probably expect. So I should have started off with that. This is, and it's the first 60 liter match. Uh, it's the first seat. <laughs> What's happened? It's the first 60 litre batch we've ever done on this city. Can't all be a pro on camera. <laughs> so uh, we're going to see how it goes. Hops wise, it's all SARS. Um, I don't need to talk about the quantities, do I? No, no. It's all SARS hops. Uh, but, but, but what else have we got? So yeasts. The yeasts, we are... Um, we've crunched the numbers in the old lab. We found, <laughs> we found five yeasts that we, we reckon will be decent at, to ferment at 20 degrees. So we've got a Saf Lager, 3470, Saf Lager S189, Mangrove Jacks California Lager Yeast, uh, then we've got the Lalamon Lager Yeast, the Diamond Series, and then lastly we've got a bit of a left wing choice, um, again by Lalamond, a Kolsch style Lager Yeast, so German style fermented at 20 degrees, and then um, you can lager it afterwards. So we're going to see how it's a bit experimental. I guess you could say it's uh, getting pretty serious. What else? Water treatment. Um, I've bought 80 litres of bottled water. Um, I couldn't get the, I, can, I can't make my water here any softer. We've, I've mentioned previously, it's very, very hard water down here. Um, so I've bought 80 litres, 16 5 litre bottles of It was tedious, water. by the way. It was, yeah. Uh, which we've got reaching strike temperature now. Excellent, we'll be back with the action shortly. For those of you who are wondering, uh, perhaps you're new to brewing or just never even wondered where the word lager comes from. Interesting fact, lager is actually from the German word for storage. Oh is it? Yeah. No, I didn't fact. know that, I'll be honest. Fact. Interesting stuff. Anyway, so um, yeah, what is uh, what, what, what makes a lager uh, more difficult or more different in the brewing process than ale? Good question. Shoot. Good question, yeah. Um, well, first of all the malt, I suppose. The malt is, lager malt is very, very, it's a very, very, very pale malt. Um, so really? the, the yeasts as well, I mean, different yeasts for different needs, <laughs> you were saying earlier on. Uh, different yeast, so um, lard yeast is generally bottom fermenting. It ferments at the bottom of the fermenter, whereas ale yeast will ferment at the top. Okay. If you think about the ales you brewed, you can see the, the yeast yeah, yeah, yeah. sitting on the top. Right? Yep. With lager it's right at the bottom. Um, what else? Lagering as well. So obviously probably the most important part of lagering, the lagering phase after fermentation. You generally because lager yeasts tend to like anything from sort of 10 to 14 degrees. Um, so I think this one we're going to ferment it at 12 degrees for a couple of weeks. And then once we've done that, we're going to take it off the, off the yeast or drain the yeast out the bottom of the conical fermenter. And then we're going to lager it for probably two to four weeks. Okay. Uh, I'll probably go for four weeks. Lagering basically means that you um, ferment yeah, sort of let it and condition, condition basically. at a lower temperature. Yeah, so anywhere so ales are what 19, 20 degrees, 21 yeah. degrees. So anywhere between like 0 to 5 degrees, really. I normally okay. aim for like two to, two to three normally. Okay. I had Which, one, one occasion I kind of I had a problem with the fridge that I wasn't aware of and it froze it. <laughs> right. <laughs> but it worked out alright. So it went a bit higher than that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but that's what makes it a bit more, a bit less approachable to the home brewer because of the fact that you have to yeah. stick around what you say 12 degrees. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. ten, between 10 and 14 degrees, and that's quite hard to find. Yeah, yeah. And you think that most people who start out, well, I certainly did, and you did, you just leave it in a, in a cupboard in your house, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's quite Still do. Here. I mean, that would be a pretty cool Working house. on the uh, fermentation chamber. Yeah. Work in progress. Work in progress. <laughs> yeah. So that's it, yeah. So the, the, the whole purpose of this experiment is to, well, I'm doing 40 litres of, of, of beer with the, the liquid yeast. Yeah. And then the, the, the 20 remaining litres, we're going to try the different yeasts to see if there is a, a yeast good enough to sort of give you a, a good enough beer. Okay. A good enough lager. Excellent. So we're halfway through the mash. Um, you say yeah. mashing is one of your happier times of the day? Uh, I quite like the boil because you can yeah. relax it a little bit more. Yeah, just leave it to it for a yeah, moment. I, I, I love mashing. Yeah. I know, I love the smell. The smell of in particular. Yeah. Yeah. But the mashing kind of stresses me out a little bit. Is it? Yeah. I find mashing relief stress, to be honest. <laughs> I see where you're going with this now. But it's a family show. <laughs> that is a family <laughs> show. Sars hops, baby! So the brew day is progressing. We're just going to quickly try this uh, Northern Monk Green Heathen CBD New England IPA. I've already tried it. I want to see what Ed makes of it. What do you think of it? I'm not telling you that. Okay. Let's we'll see what you make of it. There you go. This is a little interlude while the uh, brew day progresses to break up the monotony. It looks like a Nipah. Get a whiff of that. New England IPA, so CBD. Yeah. Green Times, Northern Monk and Green Times Brewing. What, have you looked into them? Green nope. Times Brewing? No, I haven't. <clears throat> Have a, have a whiff. Okay. It's supposed to be a quick Ooh, segment. Wow. What do you reckon? Citrus. Very grapefruit. Lemongrass. Yeah. Grapefruit, lemongrass, citrus. Quite dank. It's, oh, it reminds me of something. It reminds me of Fanta Lemon. I was about to say, it reminds <laughs> me of Jif Lemon. Jif Lemon? Okay. You know, that, that yeah, horrendous yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. lemon additive. Cheers. Hmm. Lovely day in the shop. Sorry, cheers, by the way, I forgot. <laughs> Mm. Go on. It's odd, isn't it? It's not. It is odd. Nipa, I'm not, I'm not, I don't really like it. Nipa with a load of Jif lemon, maybe, or a bit uh, of Fanta. Yeah, but it's also it's just it's just a bit funky, mm. and not in a James Brown way. Um, I mean, I'll finish the can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's not. I don't know. It's a step too far for me. I, I don't get the whole CBD additive. Like, no. why? Is it for health? You know is, it for health is it for health reasons? Is I'm it for clue, just to be know? different? <laughs> have, you, have you read up on it? No. Nope. You have to have a read up nope. on it and get back to me. No, I didn't bother reading. I didn't no, really it's, like it's it. Pleasant. So there's no point reading up on it. It's, it's pleasant and it is very, very different. It goes to the yeast, 727 billion cells thereof. Yeah, who knows it? And you look your way goodness. So that's the brew day complete. Happy with that slick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The gravity was a bit higher than I was expecting, but what was it? Uh, 1060, when I was expecting 10, uh, uh, top end 1054. It's an experimental recipe. So yeah, a little bit higher than I was expecting, but um. So Mr. Chris Broom will enjoy this this beer. Then. Yeah, yes, yeah, so it's gonna be a strong one. So nice I'll up the yeast a little bit more as well, but we, we can cover that later on, can't we? But um, what they call a wife beater in the UK. Yeah, but yeah, it's late as well, isn't it? It's half ten. 
It was this late with you. Why your brew days go on so long? Because you told me to start later so that you could join me. So he's only mashing at five past <laughs> you four. That. Five past four and it's half ten. Yeah. So uh, what's the, what, what are the next steps of the process? Next step. So we're fermenting. Um, the forty liter batch is in there in the fermentation chamber at it's going to be at oh, I can't remember what I said. 12 degrees, I think, mm -hmm. and the other, the, the five four litre demijohns, they are going to be at 20 degrees for two weeks. Um, so we're just a very sort of basic test to see if it'll work. And this, this video is all about the taste test, isn't it? Just to see yeah. how those lagers, oh, how time. they perform. Yeah. And uh, on that note, we will uh, shortly be going to the tasting. We will see you there. Yeah. So we're back, however many weeks later this is. I don't even know, what is it? It's got to be a couple of months. It's, I'd say it's close to three. Yeah, three months since we brewed. Um, so we're finally going to get around to uh, tasting the lagers and see how they handle. I haven't drunk a lager for, for, for months. Mm -hmm. Months and months. Let's get in there. Okay, um, what like are we going to use that? Choose that? Yeah. Where's the little blade one I had gone? I really should have got this earlier. <laughs> right, here we go. And can I just say, some of these are going to be awful. Are they? Some of the, um, are they? I, I reckon, yeah. Because we're sort of pushing the... the, the particularly yeast like beyond their boundaries and that was all part it was part of the test so it's not a test of my brewing skills all right because if, if it's a crap beer then it's down with the yeah, yeast yeah. bit of fizz and that feels like ages ago we've kind of lost the plops it's been so long but they will have only just seen the brew day so they're going to know what's going on looks all right Quite dark. Yeah. What's that about? No. <laughs> Hope that it's not. I had too much oxygen exposure. We'll have a go. So we're going. Oh, I'm easy. So where, where the lid go? Oh, yeah, it's down by your feet. <laughs> All right. Okay. Right. The f yeah. The head's sort of. Disappeared fairly quickly, isn't it? Hmm? It smells right. Yeah. Going in? Yeah. Yeah, it smells okay. Fairly, fairly clean. There's a hell of a lot of body in that, mm. isn't there? Mm. Loads of body. It's chewy. It is chewy. Uh, I don't mind it, to be perfectly honest. There's not a lot of life in it. It's quite sweet, isn't it? Yeah, it is quite sweet. Mm. To be honest, I quite like it. I mean, mm. it's not it's, it's not really in lager territory. Yeah. And there was a cold yeast in there. Maybe it could be the cold yeah. yeast. Um. I'm going to put on screen what it is that we drink so people can keep up with it. But I yeah, it's all right. Yeah. It's like it's not too bad. Yeah. I don't think you're a huge fan. It is quite sweet, isn't it? It's yeah. quite kind of cloying. It is. Um, I'm not a massive fan. I'd like to see a bit more head on a lager than yeah. that. <laughs> I hope that's not the one that I hoped was going to be the success. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I and mean, it's cold. I like it because it's cold. Okay. <laughs> Bonus point for that. I'm going to write some notes. Do you know what? I don't think it's too... I know it's sweet. It's not what you'd expect a lager to be, no. but I don't mind it. it. Reminds me of a lager I had in Czech Republic once. Well, I mean, this I is that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think it was a particularly reputable lager, though. Mm. I <laughs> no, probably not. I think it was in a student hotel. I hope that's not the one. Well, I ended up face easy. down in a plant pot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next, should we do the reveal or not? Yeah, go on, do yeah. the reveal. Oh, two. Okay, that's a relief. So which one's that? That was yeast number two, which is uh, S, it's the Safflager S189. S189. Um, Ideal to, for fermentations between 9 and 22 degrees. Okay. That's like a sort of, is that the Swiss one? There's one that's Swiss and one one is like the German classic sort of You'll have to tell me, I don't know to be honest. So what? Not too familiar with my dry yeasts. Swiss yeast. Huh? Oh. Yeah. That is the Swiss one. Okay, that's cool. Hmm. So that's the Safflag. I mean, I suppose I probably scored that about two out of five. Really? I think, yeah. Wouldn't Ooh, you? I reckon that's going to be one of the better ones. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm going to give it, not based on like five being my absolute favourite beer of all time, zero being yeah. it's the worst. 
I'm going to give it, based on this experiment, I'm going to give it a three. Okay. Just purely I mean, I'm, for this experiment. I'm not really a lager drinker anymore. Anyway. Let's move on. Yeah. Should I get rid? Yeah. It's got a lingering aftertaste. Yeah, kind of like honey. Yeah. A yeah, bit of fizz again. Yeah, I like that. Big when words, do we drink? Big words, Tim, but I don't think you do. Is that a bit clearer? Yeah. I've actually got some head this time, which is nice. Is it a bit lighter? Or not? No, I think it's about the same. Okay. It's a bit, it's a bit murkier, I think. Hmm. So again, I mean, all, all of these beers, we're calling them lagers, but they're all fermented at 20 yeah. degrees, weren't yeah. they? Yeah. Something else to bear in mind. Let's smell than the last one. Yeah. I think it looks better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sort of a golden lager, isn't it? Yeah. It looks like a... Like and a Peroni Grand Reserva Doppio Malto. I've not tried. I've not tried to clear them with um, gelatin or anything like that. Yeah. I'm going in. Tim Tarbuck. Still quite sweet again. Mm. Quite similar to the last one. I prefer it. Yeah, I, I prefer it. It's more like a lager. It's crisp. Yeah, it's crisper. less chewy. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely crisper. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh, yes. It's, uh, that's fairly decent. Yeah. Mm. I'd say it's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I quite like that. I'm going to give that one four. Yeah? Yeah. What are you going to give it? 2.2? 2. Three and a half. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I like that, actually. The body, it's still got a good body, but it's nowhere near as malty as the last one. It's, yeah. it's a lot lighter, I think. Yeah, yeah. Well, mm. the last one was kind of in in uh, in pale ale territory, yeah. isn't it? Big reveal. Go on. Crack on with it. <clears throat> Number one. Is that good? So that was the, well, that was the 3470. 3470, which is the famous German strain. Yes, yeast. well, if you insist. Safflager, 3470. Good for fermentations between 9 and 22 degrees, which, yeah, I think that's worked out quite well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's obviously, it's not ideally where you'd ferment a lager at 20 degrees, yeah. but, um, yeah, pretty happy with that. This worries me that we've got the funky ones coming up. Yeah, we have. A funky bunch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think that's pretty good. Do you know what the ABV came out at? Yes. <laughs> the ABV was quite way over what I was shooting for. Really? Do you remember the... Um, the original gravity. 6.29? We, yeah, we didn't have enough water to lick it back with. We ran out of right. um, like decent san sanitary water okay. to lick it back with. So um, the OG, we were, we were shooting for 10.48, and we actually ended up with 10.60, so way over. Final gravity, we were going for 10.15, and we ended up between, on each one of the dry yeast, we ended up between 10.12 and 10.15, so pretty good okay. for dry yeast. Yeah, yeah. So the yeast I was going to say, I thought, I thought it was high. I, I, I thought, yeah. it reminds me, these last two remind me of a Peroni. Peroni Doppio Molto Grand Reserve. I know the one, yeah. You know the one. Yeah. They do it in Pizza Express. It's, it's really good. Yeah. And it is that colour as well. Yeah, it's a 6.29. Yeah. Bloody hell. Um, that's a strong lager. Yeah. Right, on to the next. Next. Get rid of any. Is it... Will it do it any favours, the fact that it's been conditioning for... Three months? Um, Two months? It should... What, the, the actual... Because I, I fermented it at 20 degrees, didn't I? Mm -hmm. And then I put it in the fridge for... About a month, I think? Right. I might have to refer back to my notes again. Oh, there's no head on this. Got to work for it. Oh, no, there we go. Right. Oh. Work it. Quite a fresh smell. Yeah. Yeah. Quite a fragrant <laughs> bouquet. Like a cat peeing on a stain. <laughs> yeah. Is that what you look for in a bit? Yeah. yeah. It's not giving much away. Nice and it's clear though. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. Go on then. I'm going looks in. wise, if you if you were only interested in looks, you'd, you'd be quite happy with that. Oh, no, I don't want to see your face. I don't mind that, you know. It's not bad. It's still quite sweet. 
Hmm. It tastes quite a bit stronger again though, doesn't it? It does. Well, to me it does. Yeah. yeah. It could do it being a bit fizzier. Yeah. I mean, all of them, wouldn't you say? Good head retention though, basically, compared to the other two. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. <clears throat> Should we reveal what it is? Yeah. What do you think it is? Well, no idea. I, I put that on a par with the last one. Hmm. Three and a half out of five for me. I do, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go, th yeah. It's not bad. Lost taste. It's so, it's very different though, isn't it? It's interesting how different it is. Um, yeah, I'll go, th I'll go three and a, 3.75. All right? Yep. Should have a look? No, I'll go 3.5. <laughs> yeast number five, which is, drum roll, that's our Kolsch yeast. Really? Yeah. Lalamond Kolsch yeast. Okay. Uh, which I don't know what the temperature range is for fermentation and I can't sit on it anywhere. Hmm. That, what did we give the first one? Uh, the first one I gave two out of five. Hmm. But then I'm not really, I'm not really a lager drinker anymore. I don't hmm. really, it's not really my bag anymore. It's not too bad. It? No, no, it's, it's not too right. bad at all. It's, it's it's pretty close to number two hmm. for me. There's going to be a bad one at some amongst these two, isn't there? There it is. My head's starting to feel a bit funny already. I think I haven't quite recovered from a week ago. What are you doing then? The dig burrito. Ooh, that's not very lively at all. No. What's going on there? Did it, did it hit when I opened it? Oh, hold on, something's forming. I don't know, I don't think I trust this one. Got a little bit of height on there. Mm, it looks a bit dead. <laughs> yeah, it does. Right, mm. I'm going straight in with it. After your boy. Yeah, no, no, terrible. <laughs> Oh, terrible! Hell. That, that's absolute urine. <laughs> Do I need, need to try it? Go on. It's not. It's not urine. No, it's, that's a solid two you out of five. You drink your own urine. <laughs> really? No, but I do it anyway. It's sterile, and I like the taste. <laughs> No, I'm not a fan of that. No. So I get rid? Yeah. Uh, well, I'll do the reveal first. So That's that's one out of five for me. Yeah, same here. Uh, two? <laughs> You've been quite generous. I'll get, uh, let's put two out of five. Hold on, one, one and a half out of five. One and a half. Who is the halves? No, one, no, yeah, it's not good. No. Get rid. Yeah, right. Next. So that was yeast four, which was the... Alamond. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, because I haven't actually written on the number on there. Yeah, which is surprising. And again, haven't got the temperature range on there. It's got a nasty aftertaste. Yeah. Get that out of my sight. <laughs> I've never, I've never tried anything to do with Mango Jacks. I see Mango Jacks on the, like the UK homebrewing Facebook pages all the time. Yeah. Particularly their extract stuff. It's yeah. dead as well. Yeah. Why do you pour on me such a big measure? <laughs> trying to get some head on it. <sighs> trying to give you some head. It's a gift that keeps on giving that joke. That looks pretty awful, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I kind of know what's going to happen here. I mean, I, don't, I just don't trust it. Look how, it's, look how the head's bubbling in mine. Yeah. All right, I want to get this over and done with so we can move on to some actual proper okay. beer in a minute. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Yeah. There's some off there's some off stuff going on in there. I prefer it to the last one, mate. Yeah, I do. Mm. It's a bit fruitier. Mm. <laughs> and a bit more uh, uh, it's a bit chewier as well, isn't it? 
It's not great, no. but I prefer it to the last one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, it's done. Are you going back for more? <laughs> I'm not a big yeah. fan. No, I'm not, but I do prefer it to the last one. Should yeah. I, am I even going to... That was number three. Number three. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what a surprise. The, Cal yeah. the Mango Jacks Californian. Um, so, what have we learned from this experiment? Shoot. Um, that the Lalamond... No, sorry, not Lalamond. Um, the Saflaga 3570, was it? Yeah. 3470. Was the preferred yeast for both of yep. us? Yeah. In fact, I'd say the Saflaga was... was, was was the best the two of them were the you, best we, we liked the um the Kolsch one though didn't we as well we did yeah the Kolsch I mean yeah the Kolsch came in a very close third place which is interesting because obviously Kolsch isn't a, a lag yeast yeah obviously and it's a it's a German style of yeast which is warm fermented so yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a top fermenting yeast as well yeah as opposed to the rest which were, were bottom fermenting yeasts yeah so the winner, the clear winner was the, uh, yeah, the Saflager, the, 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 the German strain, the famous German lager mm. strain. So when we unleash our beer uh, kit, our, uh, our lager beer kit, that'll be the one to go for, I think. I think so, yeah, once we've refined the recipe. Yeah. Yeah. Stick that in your pipes and smoke it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys soon. Adios. <laughs>